Hello, Riptide. We are back. We're live on Facebook Live. We've been here all weekend, and we will continue to be broadcasting live all weekend from beautiful Fort Lauderdale Beach at the site of Riptide. So we hear the bands rocking. What I am about to do is introduce one of my very favorite people literally in the world. And Elmira Lito, who is the founder of Samuel's House in the Keys. Elmira, thank you so much for coming all the way from Key West to Fort Lauderdale to be with us this weekend. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Now you and those, as I always say, those little angel wings, she doesn't stop this one. And she says, stop telling everybody I'm 68. But she's 68 years old and this woman, I can't even keep up with her, man. She's schlepping this stuff all around her booth here in the the pavilion here at, uh, at Riptide. So let's talk a little bit about Keys Strong. So um, I met Elmira when, well, ten, let me go back. Ten years ago, when we had a bunch of hurricanes in 05, some friends of mine asked if I'd help, and they were having a tough time getting people down to dive and enjoy the Keys, because that's what you guys thrive on. It's a tourism-based economy. And so I did a big concert, with Steven Tyler and Chuck Berry and a bunch of supermodels. Everybody wanted to help the Keys, because we all love the Keys. However, what we found out is it's not easy to set up the infrastructure, even if you want to help. It's a complicated process by which people can understand where to send money or how they can really donate or volunteer or any of that. So what we started looking at with this tragedy of, of, of Irma, which just happened and devastated the Keys, um, Hurricane Irma was probably one of the most devastating, at least I don't know what it is on record, but it really did a toll on the community, I think 11,000 homes. So, Elmira. So we said to ourselves, you know, the Red Cross is great, United Way and all these wonderful organizations, because they are. But everybody asked me if I'd help, and I was in the middle of the Riptide production and all this, which kept us busy. I said, we can't really do a big event, but we should have some place that we can find to make sure that the support gets right to the front lines with somebody who's really doing the work. So somebody said, I know this woman down in Key West. She's been doing it for 20 years. The governor actually picked her and, and actually gave you, what was it, the Woman of the Year or something? The Hall of Fame. The I Hall of Fame from the governor. The so for 20 years, you've been feeding the homeless, uh, based in Key West, but all through Monroe County. All Monroe County. What we do is we house and um, give a person a hands up and not a hand, hand out. out. Which and I we love that teach line. them how to get out there and become self-sufficient so they can stay with us any time from 90 days up to many years, whatever Incredible. helps them. And so that particular spirit of what you've learned in terms of uh, people who really want to change their lives and to rebuild their lives and create a, a hopeful and a great life for themselves and their families, you have 20 years, two decades of experience in doing this all through Monroe County, which is so amazing. So what we asked is we said, who's out there that's really moving the needle and doing something really profound for the community? So I met this woman, I come down to Key West, and she is basically set up with a bunch of other amazing women that we'll talk about. A warehouse, bringing in the goods. There was no 17 tractor trailers were being turned away. Our dear friends at Entercom here, owners of Riptide, they arranged for Vaughn Freeman, Gofron, Ashley O. We all went down to the Keys with 22 pallets of food, 15,000 pounds of food, and we didn't know where to bring it. So the infrastructure about how to even take that in, how to distribute it, how to store it, all of this was a lesson to me in how complicated this is. But I met and went Elmira's parking lot. She was feeding 1,800 people in her parking lot. We're going to show you the video in a minute. But what we realized that we could do together, and we're so honored, and I'm really just so honored to be the co-founder of this organization with her and all these other wonderful people called Keys Strong. So keysstrong.org. Um, is now the organization, we've been working with all five mayors in Monroe County, plus the mayor of the county itself, that uh, Wyland was just generous enough to give us this beautiful art. So keysstrong.org, how would you explain people very quickly what it means to you and what is the spirit? Because you really are a heart of keysstrong.org. What, what does it mean to you and how can you explain it to everyone? Well, we come up with a, a mission statement, which is to be one unified voice to rebuild the Florida Keys. And we have a board of nine people right now who represent the mayors of Monroe County. The whole county. The yep. full county, yep. from Key Largo all the way to Key West. Um, we have a community outreach leader who you know very well is Sandy Higgs, and that woman is amazing. Energizer Bunny, what an yes, extraordinary a, woman with bunny. the rotary and the legacy in the keys as well. Yes, so Go we Sandy. all we all work together. We 
People are calling from all over the nation and asking how they can volunteer. We're still having Walmart call all the different um, Ashley furniture, you name it, with a name. They're still calling saying, how, we, how can we help? Yesterday on the way up here, I stopped at the Hilton that got destroyed in Key Largo. And they're going to be giving us 130 rooms of beautiful furniture that never got touched. Wow. And so we have to arrange for that delivery. And, yeah, that's a very So a lot of that site. furniture, when you talk yep. about this, what people still, because the cameras have left, this is some drone footage, um, Chris and the, the crisis relief team. Uh, the crisis, what was the name of that organization? They were so generous to you guys, came down, chainsaws, blue tarps. They're on our website. I can, I can re- Samaritan they, Purse really helped the that, that's community. That's it, that's Samaritan it, that's Samaritan it, yeah. Purse. And so this footage, he was kind enough to share with us. But a lot of people don't know the impact and how crazy this is, right? This was drone footage that the furniture that Elmira was talking about, this is people needed or need a lot of their entire lives based on the storm surge and the wind was literally just ravaged. And this is cars and boats and mattresses and the furniture that these people are now finally getting because of Key Strong and for all the work you're doing, Elmira. But a lot of people, based on the fact that this is kind of, you know, a month or two has passed, don't realize that this is going to take years, years to clean up. And even if you think about the emotional and the psychological impact this must have on these poor families, this is something extraordinary. And this is what really Key Strong is about. Um, the impact, again, this is in, uh, I think, Isla Morada. Jim Mooney was kind enough to uh, meet with us, the mayor of Isla Morada. And uh, we've met several times with him. What a great guy. He took us to this spot when I brought Ashley O and Intercom down. For those of you on the road to Riptide, we've been reporting and trying to help the Keys. Um, and thank you so much, Intercom, and all these amazing stations. That was a three-story house that got leveled in Pancake with a storm shirt just sucking it out from underneath it. And this, if you think about these communities, again, back to the furniture and the, what these people need, this, on A1A, if you looked at 30 feet of this, just pile. A lot of that is still there. It's, it's still there. It's still this there. is what it looks like when you basically shake up a town or a community and, sh- and then just spill it back down uh, once you've actually tried to aggregate that into cleanup. So this is going to continue for many, many years. And thank you guys so much because of your support with keystrong.org. The spirit of where we came from was this brand that you guys all came up with, so Key Strong, and a uh, lovely gentleman had donated to Elmira the .org, which he had. So this has been an organization that has come basically grassroots. Um, what Elmira mentioned here, here's our executive committee. Um, you want to explain how this was put together with the mayors, all the five, all the mayors? Yes, um, everyone that's sitting at that table is a representative of each mayor of Monroe County starting with Craig Cates all the way up to um, Key Largo. And Tom, which is the gentleman in the wheelchair, he represents um, SOS, which is St. Mary's of the Sea. And he is the distributor of all the merchandise and goods that's going to be going through all of Monroe County. And he has been doing that for many, many years. What an extraordinary yeah. man. And he set up, he's got warehouses from the airport that refrigerated Key Largo all through and has been just a, such a servant of the community, uh, really just beyond his, his example of a human being, the work he's done uh, for years in Monroe County, just like you've done on the with the families and the homeless, he's done with the food and the distribution. Correct. Uh, amazing, yeah. Correct. So each person there represents... Monroe County. What we did was we wanted to get the, each uh, area of the Keys represented so that they didn't feel like we're being left out. And if there's any message I could send is that the people who are survivors, they are saying, please do not forget us because it is a long haul off yet that we've got to rebuild our beautiful Florida This is going to be many, Keys. many years. So thank you again, Intercom and Riptide, for allowing us to have Elmira and the Keys strong message. Um, up on the big screens in front of 30,000 people, I did a bunch of shout-outs for Key Strong um, that these, uh, <laughs> this tribe of music lovers out there is listening to as we're here doing these live interviews. So when you talk about this extraordinary group of people that are coming together, and it, it builds every day, um, now there's dozens more that are being added Catholic to Catholic Charities joined us the other day. All the 46 uh, agencies for Monroe County has joined and like you said, every day there's someone else. And uh, we do have all the government support. FEMA, yeah. Matt Cedar is daily, almost daily talking with us. In fact, he is 
put me in contact that I'm going to be speaking to on Monday. The sad part is that there is not hard facts on how many victims there really truly is in Monroe County. So we're going to team up, Key Strong is going to team up with an agency um, that will come and do a door-to-door -door survey just like they do the census to really find out what type of impact Irma was. And yeah. Irma is the highest, um, the hurricane that has cost the most money. Devastating. Mm -hmm. So we have um, set up the website, keystrong.org, if you want to come and volunteer, if you want to give money, obviously, and, and products and services, if you're uh, into drywalling, engineering, architecture, uh, electrician, uh, this is the kind of the future of what we're trying to figure out, how to develop a database and resources and connect good, kind people who are wanting to help, like uh, a big shout out to EO, Entrepreneurs Organization. Yep. They were just down, right? Yep. Uh, didn't they just come down with a bunch of I CEOs? I just took uh, eight of them around Thursday. You guys are awesome. Thanks to Barry day. Cates and, and, and yeah. Will, Will Conti, all these guys. Yes. And so we've set up the paywall. If you want to donate, keystrong.org. Um, Elmira definitely could use the help financially. Um, donations, volunteers, all of it. The website has information on how you can get involved there. And then also a, a great deal of gratitude to Jonathan Smith, who owns all the radio stations. Elmira has the Key Strong radio going every day with every the reports day. and the messages and how people can help. So literally everybody's gotten behind us and we're so grateful. Yeah. Um, the website and the Facebook, all the social media, which is now live, this particular piece, which is going on the Facebook site and all of our other ones uh, being promoted. And then again, wonderful gratitude to Wyland who gave us this beautiful pelican yes. on her shirts, right? Yes. So Elmira, while we're talking about what's going on with Key Strong and some fundraising, um, we have a great story here. So do you want to, Carol Merrill behind curtain number two, do you want to talk about what we have in the box? Um, this little box represents 35 years of um, Conk Republic who receded from the Union. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you're, you might be too young to remember that, but I remember that when people couldn't come into Monroe County because they receded from, and it actually went to the Supreme Court and everything. Mm. So on Thursday the 30th, it was official end of the year hurricane day, so they burnt the flag of Irma and they burned it with rum and then they, um, endorsed keystrong.org wow. mm -hmm. and they gave us this box to uh, auction off. Right now I have a bid on it for $1,500. And so we're gonna leave it out there to see if we can get more because mm -hmm. 100% of the funds will go back to the survivors of the hurricane. But so 1500 bucks is the current bid on that current bottle bid. of rum. So if you wanna do the keys a favor and have one heck of a bottle of rum, you could bid more than 1500 bucks to help Elmira and the families of the Keys out. How about that? Well, it well, clearly uh, says it's got 35, so I don't know if you'd want to drink this. I think this is history. Okay. So we want to keep this and put it on a mantle. That's the value of it. Maybe they could drink Empty it and pour water back water there or something, it. have a hell of a party. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, if you're helping the families, I'm sure the people in the Keys will be happy if you enjoy the rum, but Elmira's right. It's history. Maybe you want to leave it's it corked. So... The other folks we want to certainly thank uh, our dear friends at Scales, Go Scales, who are here as the official merchandise line of Riptide, are actually, they've been kind enough to, these are 100% bottles, water yep. bottles that are recycled. They're antimicrobial, so they don't get stinky. Right. And they also have this kind of cool stuff on them so that if you spill your salsa or your margarita on them, whatever, they don't stain, or your greasy fish guts, right? Yeah. So there's all this cool technology. With their, so thank you, Matt and Brad and all these cool guys at Scales who got behind us and provided all these great shirts. So if you want to get one of the shirts yourself and go to Keystrong or to Scales, Scales Gear, um, they actually have all of these now, this whole new product line for Key Strong that you can buy and wear. Also a great uh, shout out to Guy Harvey, who, who is also like Wyland in the art community, like a cultural icon. Um, he's working with uh, Spencer Slate, who is our dear friend and one of the founders of the Rotary in, in the Keys and one of my dear friends. Um, Spencer is the chairman of a new committee with the Guy Harvey Foundation that's also going to be working with Elmira and our team. So a big shout out to Guy Harvey and Wyland. 
And so what we've been doing, and we encourage you to on our websites, and please do the same, we have links to Key Strong and how people can help driving people to the site. Um, Elmira, we've had her at a lot of these events, our little starlet. So this was a couple weeks ago, we had her at the Coconut Grove Seafood Festival, which we're also honored to be the official charity for Tony and our dear friends at Swarm. And Tony brought Elmira up during the festival with our buddy Captain Slate, and we did the same thing, and we're promoting how people can get behind Elmira. So. On the road to Riptide, everything that's happening today is really focused on how we can all get behind you and the great work you're doing. Thank so you. this particular event with um, Ashley O and the Shark and everybody who's uh, been, been promoting what Elmira's up to, Ashley came down, um, actually was kind enough, literally the minute they heard, and thanks so much to Intercom and the radio stations have been a big supporter of everything we're doing. Um, she oh, interviewed Jim, Jim, Jim Moody. Moody. Mayor of this was that house that we just showed you that was flattened. Well, There's right the same ahead. house. Also, um, Ashley came down and we, uh, Rick Ramsey, the commander, Rick has had his hands full for a long time. I wonder if that guy's got any sleep. Jim and the mayors too, and go the mayors. So this is what it looks like when Myra set up the warehouse. We needed a place to put all that stuff. Is a question of what do you do with it all? So the diapers, the baby for me, all of that. So we were learning the hard way until we realized that a guy like Tom had already figured this stuff out. So God, God bless Tom. But all your volunteers uh, that were actually from the very beginning. Yeah, the mayor corps helping. that came and helped. And who was the gentleman who gave you the warehouse? It was Joe Walsh. Joe Walsh, kind yeah, enough. Yeah, very yep. generous. Yeah, and all those great women that have been just working tirelessly. But the, the concept here, if you want to help, the families still need, we have distribution issues. This is my car loaded up with oatmeal and baby formula and diapers. That's literally my, uh, what my car looks like when I go down each weekend. And we try to move the stuff around the best we can. And then Elmira did such a great job when we were at the Seafood Festival. Funny story, this woman came up afterwards and said, oh, I love Elmira Keystrong, I want to help. Do you want some organic hummus? And I said, oh, I'll take it. What do you got? Of course I'll take it. So now that my question is, how am I going to get it? It was like at the end of the, we're exhausted, right? At the end of this thing. And I have 214 boxes of hummus that needs to be refrigerated. Now, so I didn't get home till three in the morning, but thank God for the guy at Shipwrecks who had the refrigerator, who had just opened. He has been decimated, the restaurant. So God bless you, <laughs> this Shipwrecks rocks. This guy opens, goes, drives all the way back, opens his refrigerator, and we pack 214 bottles, uh, boxes of hummus in his refrigerator that they could finally distribute. And then Slate and the guys at the Rotary were kind enough and helped Elmira kind of move him around and get him to the families. But anyhow, so when I met Elmira, this is again the kind of work that's going on down there was extraordinary. This is her parking lot. So a gentleman from Deerfield Beach, he and his brother, they brought down a tractor trailer at their own expense full of rib and brisket and so all this Myra, food. They're two, on? these these, people, these big guys, they obviously like food yes. and they're good at it. They were feeding, this is 1,800 people that day in you know, Myra's parking lot that she's actually creating a, a dramatic impact in these so people. A lot of them means. haven't had take, take warm food, food by that time, right? Yeah, went all the way to Marathon. So, so yeah. What's, what's so the, they're, they're being packed up here and all these other angels. This woman here was taking them to a, a, a convalescent home, meal. right? Look at that. And that's really? a beautiful looking meal. Me I mean, up. if you look at those, I know the Red Cross is doing the best they can, but that looks a little different than one of the Red Cross meals I've seen. So then the other issue was so not only cooking it, but then the distribution side. That? So the other angels, like this lady, this, came this in, here, packed up the cars, yeah. hundreds of meals, and these lovely people in the community are actually then taking the next step of how to get it to those families, right? Yes, so, they delivered it. Uh, what was the name of that insurance company that did that? It was um, Allen Direct Insurance, not Allen. Insurance Care Direct and Deerfield Beach. Insurance Care Direct, Deerfield yeah. Beach. So Insurance shout out to you guys. Care and we're, we're all, we've been up since like six this morning. We're tired, but the, that's why I wanted to make sure they we give fabulous. them a shout out. They came Go, back you guys. twice. Yeah. They came yeah. back twice. Brad Incredible. And his brother. What lovely people. Yes. And then uh, Gloria Stefan actually donated a song, and then our good friends at the tourist, uh, the TDC, uh, Tourist Development Council. Um, this has been up on YouTube if you want to look at it. Thank you. They actually put it at the end of the keystrong.org if you want to watch the whole thing. Gloria Stefan was kind enough to donate the song. But th this is a, a testament to, uh, it actually kind of starts out with that really in the moment footage and then gets to all that hopeful stuff. It's worth watching. It goes on for a while. But um, a lot of what's continuing right now is all this coverage. So what we want to be very careful as we, we kind of close out here is one of the biggest lessons we learned is while we have the media, we wanted to find one single clear call to action 
So this was a piece that ran a, a wonderful piece on ABC News, but there wasn't one, this is just an example of many of these great stories, but there was not one mention of anything that people could do. And that's why the critical importance of keystrong.org now in the future, because this isn't gonna be the last hurricane, we wanna have an immediate way to handle, instead of having 17 tractor trailers turned away, or you have thousands of volunteers and nobody knows how to manage them, or if you have to have a find a way to raise the money and distribute it directly to those families, that's the vision and with the mayors in Elmira that we've been putting together. So there's a big concert coming in, uh, coming up on the 17th? December 17th. Yeah, do you want to bring up our other little angel who's going to yes. be doing some reporting? Come on up here, check her. this out. Okay, so you guys may have watched, we've, I've been broadcasting live all day, so Delaney, who has spoke in front of, look, what were we going to start? So TED Talks, United Nations, MTV. Uh, we're so honored to have Delaney as our youth ambassador for Celebration C Foundation. And with Elmira now being in the Keys, and Delaney's been there, and a marine biologist um, lives in the Keys. What we've asked Delaney to do is to help us tell the story to the kids. So let's talk a little bit about the concert and then what we might be able to do with Delaney, who will be reporting live and, and getting right back to you. What's, so what's going on in the Keys? Uh, on December 17th, we're having the amphitheater has just been dedicated. Well, it's going to be dedicated. This is Key West to, Amphitheater, yeah, right? Yeah, Key West Beautiful Amphitheater. New. Yeah. And on uh, the mayor is going to have the charity of Keystrong.org. And, and we have I to put a shout out there to Mayor Craig Cates, absolutely. who is such a lovely, beautiful man who's yes. been behind us from Donald, the beginning. Thank you, Craig. Way beyond. Yeah. So the the uh, the mayor and the city are helping to put this together with right. Key Strong. With um, Howard Livingston and Go other Howard. bands that will Rock be and roll. on call, and they'll be starting at 11 o'clock in the morning, all the way till I think they said eight or nine that night, and. It'll be uh, food, it'll be a lot of fun, and I've asked Elania if she would come down and share her, what she does. She's amazing, and I see her in the Hall of Fame. I do too, one day. yeah. And um, so I'd like her to share, because she also, being the youth, can show the vision of how we all need to get to behind her as adults that are getting older and look to her youth and recognize her for what she's learning and put it into action now so that when they become older, that they will be able to save our next Absolutely. generation of kids. So I want to commend you for that, and you keep going, girl, because you go, girl. I'm going to watch you now <laughs> and, and see what you're going to accomplish in this world. So you've been reporting, Delaney, for, for us. Thank you so much. From the Keys, right? You've yep, been telling your story? from the Keys, doing some videos that are currently on the Celebration of the Sea Facebook, so if you want to check those out about Riptide and also about Keys Strong. So check out keystrong.org and check out Celebration of the Sea. And yeah, I've been reporting about the Keys. Um, everything is doing really well. People are starting to clean up. It's looking a lot better. And people's spirits are high, and that's what's important. So from the concert, what we'll try to do with Delaney is having her report there live and follow around our lovely angel here, and you can be doing your magic to get all these great kids engaged. And obviously with the, the millennials and this kind of deeper dive that the kids are doing about really civic engagement and experiences and sharing, it's kind of like a tribe feeling, a little more connected emotionally. Than, so, it's so it's so great to see what you're doing. So we'll be here live all weekend, Facebook Live at Riptide. But on the 17th in Key West at the amphitheater, these two lovely ladies will be rocking Key West as well. So the, the party doesn't stop. On and on we go. So thank you guys so much for joining us and being part of the Celebration Sea Pavilion here at Riptide. We will be live all weekend here. We're going to keep going and rocking at the Riptide Fest. Love you, ladies. You are an amazing crew. Love you, too. Stay with us. <laughs>